Just uh, drinking a forever beer of Mickey's. Lasts forever. Cooking up a little bit of uh, on the, uh, the barbecue grill. It's got the George Foreman. I highly recommend the George Foreman. There's my cruiser. I highly recommend uh, that cruiser as well. How about this? Special shout out to the uh, the mask drinking community. Since I'm recommending things, uh, I recommend that you uh, actually make your own mask. Uh, the ski mask, I get it, I get it. But uh, but after you just get into that, uh, why why not graduate to the next level? You know, graduations. Gradual, raising up, and uh, what could what could be next level? Uh, what could be more next level than making your own mask? And really, fall staff, I'm talking to you. Get rid of that uh, that gigantic malt hole unraveling uh, mask you've got and uh, make yourself a mask and do it. Do it now. I'd say I'd like Google how to make a mask, but it's just going to be a Earl coming up and saying, just make it. I'm the number, I'm the number one provider of uh, mask instructional videos and they're pretty much just make the mask. I have two Forever beers, you know, and uh, one of them actually, I unplugged the refrigerator, I put the Forever beer, the Colt 45, in the bottom, and that whole beer keeps the entire refrigerator uh, ice cold and malty. When I got that cruiser, I was uh, out in the countryside. I asked a guy, I'm like, hey man, how much you want for that bike? He's like, uh, $25. And so I immediately spun on my heel and raced back to my car. And he thought I was running away from a terrible deal. And so he shouted out, okay, $20. And I'm like, sold. And then uh, it has a rack on it. Let's look at the rack. So as I'm running back with my uh, $20 bill, I say, uh, I see that rack. I'm like, hey man, how much you want for that, uh, that, ra that, I said, how much do you want for that? Actually, I didn't say rack. So how much do you want for that? And this woman picked it up and she kind of rolled it around a little bit. And then she like, ugh. And she turned to her husband and said, Henry, what is this? And Henry looked at it for a little bit and he goes, I don't know. And she turned back to me and said, a dollar? Yeah, so that whole bike, rack included, $21. <clears throat> I am the man. Ah. So it's come to my attention that uh, Bitter Poet Madman is uh, over 2,600 subs. Which, so I'm kind of feeling like uh, I'm just kind of affecting reality. And I thought that was a pretty big deal. Uh, until I realized that uh, Bitter Poet Madman actually affects the multiverse. Which, uh, it's hard to imagine a bigger deal than that. Pretty far out. Oh, uh, Save the Polar Bears, uh, Pork Chop Killer, 
uh, I have a request. I would like to be a part of, uh, of your news program. And uh, I would like to do uh, personalities on parade. So if, if someone hasn't already claimed that, I'd like to claim it. And if someone actually has claimed it, I reserve the right to challenge them for, uh, for supremacy. I'll destroy them. Uh, 40 ounces of fear. I notice you have more than 40 subs now. I, I watched you go for... You had over 100. I can't remember what you had, like almost 200. And then you uh, you dropped it down to 40. Now it's going to be the cutoff. And now recklessly, people are subbing to you left and right. And no one has stepped up to challenge the Earl. Uh, which is just so disrespectful that I almost just kind of want to just uh, smash them from here rather than do it video style like I like I said was going to have to happen. Um, but you know maybe there's maybe it's ignorance maybe uh, maybe uh, these people just need to be notified. So I think you have over 90 now so uh, there's 50 some people that need to if they want to be your sub uh, as far as I can tell according to your rules they have to go through me. Or they could challenge another one of your other subs I guess but I really think I would be a good threshold to keep the uh, keep the level of people who subscribe to you at a, at the at the highest highest quality, like like a fine malt liquor. Let's flip these burgers with my bare hands, shall we? I know that's not necessarily sanitary, but uh, I'm, I'm going to stick my hands in fire afterwards. Well, I'm dropping change onto the neighbors. Oh, it's a quarter. Actually, hold on a second. I want to show you something. You know, uh, you know what that means when you uh, you stick a 40 ounce uh, cap on your shirt and you shove a quarter through the back and it stays. It means uh, it means you give a damn about something. So when you put it on your shirt, you say what you give a damn about. It can, you know, it should kind of be just it can be just for that moment. But every time you put one on, you say what you give a damn about. And uh, I give a damn about uh, clean forests. Uh, trash doesn't belong in the forest. The forest is uh, should be a uh, a refuge from trash. A place to get away from it all. That's yeah, George Foreman Grill. Should get get you one. It used to be that I would say that I'm done with my beer, and so we should stop the video, but now I have a beer that lasts forever. You just have to go 10 minutes and stop, so. Beer drinking community, uh, the Tube Tribe, peace out.